it's Betsy and today we have a fun video. We're going to be testing out the Alien Cosmetics Tom Serendipity The Artist Palette. Now this palette is sold out on their website but I figured it would still be fun to do this because it can test out the formula. Now this is a nine pan eyeshadow palette. It retailed for $35 and I did pay shipping on this. I don't remember how much because it's been a while since I've gotten it. I just finally had time to film with it. So I decided on this palette because I love this green color scheme. Plus there are some beautiful duochromes. So I figured we could swatch this out. And Serendipity the artist is who drew this little poison apple girl on the front, which is really what drew me in on this palette because I love stuff like this. I love things that are a little bit twisted and you know. So none of these shades have names, so I will kind of swatch them and show them to you as we go. So the first shade is a beautiful duochrome that is more pink to peachy orange. Then we have a true Kelly green. And then we have a maroon. So we'll start by swatching. They swatch well, they do swatch well. So, then we got row number two, which is all shimmer. So the first one is a beautiful duochrome, which is very similar, or it's almost a multi-chrome because it looks gold in some lights, pink, and then green. Then we have another duochrome, which is a little bit more flaky, which is pink to blue shift. And then the last shade, which almost looks like you see how that looks like it almost glows in the dark? I love this kind of shade. So, look at that duochrome or multi-chrome. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. And then this shade, I love that. I adore that. Like that will be my inner corner color. And I love nine pan. Nine pan and 12 pans are probably my favorite size for eyeshadow palettes. I just love working with those. Then we have this beautiful true red shimmer. Now it looks kind of pinky, but it kind of depends on what you're layering it with. Then we have this beautiful army green and a beautiful, very true school bush yellow. But yeah, that's the color scheme of it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I can't wait to play with it. Now I have already primed my eyes. I use the Gerard Clean Canvas Base in Fair because when I'm doing something typically that has colorful eyeshadows with it, I like to use the Fair shade. And then sometimes like if I'm doing something that's more neutral, I will use medium because the medium is almost my exact skin color. But if I want colors to pop against my skin, um, doing something that's lighter is always helpful. So just so you know, and I, as I said, I really enjoy the Gerard clean canvas, but there are some other good ones too. Okay. So let's make sure that that is lined up looks good so this is the refer 15 brush and i'm going to start off with that yellow shade oh that picks up nicely and this is going to be kind of my transition color because who doesn't love a good yellow and this is kind of a good test to have their formula because yellows on my skin it is a color that is very difficult to pick up and to show on my skin tone. I am a very true medium skin tone. Sometimes I can look a little on the lighter side, but I mean, my face is like 20,000 shades lighter than my arms and such, but I am obsessive about putting sunscreen on my face. Um, and when I tan, like when I get outside, which I typically do every day, me and Cameron typically go for a walk every single morning, especially since he's doing virtual, it's RPE time and it gives us both some exercise because, you know, 
We both can use it. And vitamin D is great for the body and one of the best ways to get it is through natural sunlight. Um, so we typically walk three miles every day. I love how that applied. Very, very pretty. And it blended out nicely too. So I'm gonna grab, this is a BK Beauty 201. I'm gonna use this clean just on the outer edges to make sure it's nice and smooth. Um, the BK Beauty 201 brush is one of my favorite blenders. Oh yeah, that looks good. And see, it still picked up some of the product off of it. But that's okay. As I said, I want a good transition from the yellows to the greens. So, and I have more refer brushes now. My husband, I had ordered the core set, loved them. Asked my husband for the full set for Christmas. He decided to buy them for me and gave them to me early and then also bought me the holiday collection. So, like, I have a ton of refer brushes and I really do enjoy using them. Okay, so next step, no, what brush do I wanna use? Okay, we're gonna grab the Sigma E44 brush and we're gonna go into that True Kelly Green shade right here. Picks up nicely on the brush and bring that through the crease. Yes, my face is extremely red right now. Allergy season is kicking my hiney. Okay, so if you're not familiar, I live in Southeast Texas. We don't really have fall. We don't really have winter. We get cold weather every once in a while, but like right now, it's November. It is, what's the temperature outside, Cameron? Can you look on your phone and tell me? Or should I ask Google? You may want to ask Google. Okay, hey Google, what's the temperature outside right now? The current temperature in general it's 83 degrees in the middle of November. So, it is still pollen producing time, especially whenever, that looks really kind of cool. Especially whenever the weather does get cold and for like the shortest amount of time and then comes right back to being hot. So, And you know, I know I have some people like Kelly from K Bella Beauty. She's in Houston, so she feels my pain. Yaddy's in Dallas, so even though she's in the South, it's not the same kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, we are in, we're on the coast too. So we are closer to the coast than other people. So that makes it difficult. I like that. I really do like that but I need to blend those two together because that looks kind of harsh. I feel like I'm doing, I don't know. What football team is green and yellow? Is it the Green Bay Packers? Yeah, Green Bay Packers are these colors. Those are blending together really nicely though. Really, really nicely. So my face is so bad right now. Like I literally have allergy eye drops beside me. But yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so now it's time to deepen this puppy up with the Army Green shade. And this is a BK Beauty, what bright shade is, what brush is this, 206. We're gonna go into that army green shade, which is probably one of my favorite kind of colors. I love a good grungy green moment. I don't know how everybody else feels about it, but I love this kind of color. And I'm just kind of keeping it, it's still in the crease, but where you can still see it blended down into that army green. Applying a little bit more towards the outside than I am um, towards the inner eye. But yeah. Okay. 
There we go. Where is my blending brush? This is the 201 again. And we're just going to blend, blend, blend. That has a really pretty gradient. You see how that looks now that it's all kind of blended together? These shadows are performing really, really well. But they swatched really well too. Which, you know, again, I'll swatch shadows, but swatching shadows is not the end all be all whenever you're talking about doing a look because swatching shadows, it changes from day to day. So, and y'all should know by now, like green is my color. I use it all the time. Like, I love doing green looks. So now I'm gonna take and apply some of the Too Faced Glitter Glue. There we go. And then this is a color pop what brush is this, the E5. So it's just kind of a flat shader brush because anytime I apply a shimmer on my lid, this is what you're gonna see me do. One, I like how it applies the shades, makes it much easier to work with and it holds everything in place. So I want to go into this duochrome, which is like that pink green shift and apply that all over the lid because I want it to kind of pull the green, but then have some color towards it. Yeah, you can really see that shift. Multi-chromes and colors that shift like this are some of my favorites to work with. I love that, but like iridescent, holographic, all that kind of stuff. Like, I love that kind of feature in clothing, in purses, bags, that kind of thing. I, it's just something that has always appealed to me. And maybe it's my 90s girl heart, but you know. We used to get those holographic stickers and put them all over everything. Uh, or you'd have like clear plastic purses that were iridescent. I had a raincoat that came from Gadzooks. Now, if you don't remember what Gadzooks is, it was a mall store that originally sold both boy and girl clothes. I think they were owned by the same people who own like Rainbow and Wet Seal. Do y'all remember Wet Seal? I used to buy so much stuff from there. but I had a raincoat from Gadzooks that was like a light blue, but it had like a pink iridescent shift to it. And I loved, loved, loved that thing. It's like, you know, with all the way that the cool kids dress these days, it's like, you know, naughty will wear something. I'm like, you know, I used to have something just like that. Just like that. Okay, dokey. So I'm loving how this look looks. I'm just kind of going through making every shirt thing is nice and blended, but I really like this. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the eye tapes and take a look. What do you think? I think it looks pretty darn good. Now I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of my face, and then I'll come back and do my lower lash line. Okie dokie, so I'm back and I have the rest of my face on. I used the Stila Heaven's Glow Highlighter in Kitten. I used the Goji blush from the Menagerie blush palette. This one right here, which is like a mustardy, almost orangey shade. I used my Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronze. I've already tightlined my eyes with the BFF Gel Cream Eyeliner by ColourPop in the shade Swerve. And I lined my lips using the So Rare Lip Pencil by Juvia's Place and the Muted Lipstick. Now, I will say, Heather Austin, you turned me on to these and I absolutely love these Juvia's Place lip liners. It makes me want to purchase more, especially with how inexpensive they are. And I am wearing false lashes, the same ones I always, always do. So in case you're wondering. So I'm gonna start off on my lower lash line by going into this brick shade. 
there we go it picks up nicely and this is the uh, BK Beauty 205 brush and we're gonna start by adding that to the lower lash line it's a pretty color I love colors like that okie dokie so just kind of smudging it underneath blending it out okay now I'm going to go into this is the Sigma E25 blending brush and I want to go into this shade right here which is that duochrome which is kind of orangey reddish and use that to kind of blend out the bottom because I don't mind having shimmer under my lower lash line I don't mind having shimmer anywhere the shinier the better give me all the shinies all the shinies understand I want them all okay then I'm gonna grab this is the ColourPop E21 brush I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of that red and apply that just to the front of my tear duct that's pretty okay now I need to do my actual inner corner so I'm gonna grab this is the Cleona cosmetics it doesn't have a number but this is what it looks like it's kind of smudgy brush and we're gonna go into that shade that looks like it glows in the dark sorry that's so attractive and we're going to apply that look how pretty that looks see how easily that applied look how good that looks y'all oh that's pretty so so pretty okay now let me grab this Sigma brush one more time just to make sure everything is blended. Perfect. Spray the face. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. I'm still waiting on my latest ColourPop order which has the Baby Yoda palette in it. Just so you know. Okay. A little bit of mascara this is the wonder beauty mile high club i think this works great on the lower lashes it is not my favorite for my upper lashes but when i'm wearing false lashes it really doesn't matter when i'm wearing false lashes the main thing i'm looking for on my upper lashes is for them to be black and not too clumpy i mean that is pretty much all that i am looking for so let's mess up the hair kind of give it that messy kind of vibe and let's talk about the serendipity palette okay so if they do make this palette available again i would definitely recommend it and i will tell you that this palette made me intrigued to try much more from alien cosmetics i think the quality of it's great i mean you can see the brightness is there it's got a beautiful shift on that multi-chrome my inner corner looks like it's glow in the dark but i mean this is just a great palette altogether. and i'm not sure if they sell these as singles or not so you might be able to contact them for that but i mean for 35 dollars this is definitely a yes for me you don't need it in your life again it's sold out but if you are interested in trying alien cosmetics i can definitely see why because the quality is great and this makes me want to buy more from them so if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below and if you hit the notification bell icon next to it that will notify you when i post new videos which is typically every monday wednesday and friday but we have been inundated by new products so i've been posting a whole lot more so i guess that's it so we'll see y'all later bye